Okay. So, uh, like I said today, I will, be will be, I will be welcoming one of the most powerful mentor, teacher, coach, a selfless somebody who I know she's ready to pour out everything without reservation. See, I'm not taking it for granted that she's here. She is an honor, is a privilege from the depth of my heart. So please, if you're here, I don't want to know how many number of persons, but I know if you can open up your heart, your mind, your soul to everything that we are going to do in this project. See, the project is not a one-time thing. It's something that can last for the next six months, can last for the next one year, can last for the next 20 years. Mentorship, your life can change. So with that, I want to welcome this powerful leader, this amazing person who is selfless, through who? See, people pay a whole lot, thousands of money to learn from her. But we are getting her free of charge just because of relationship. It's an honor to welcome you, Coach uh, the Passion. Thank you very much. Have the floor. Please, you need to, I beg you, pour out the best you have without <laughs> reservation. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Coach. Um, oh, Boss Martins, yes. Good evening. Good evening to you all. I'm so happy to be here this evening. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be able to share my one Kobo idea with you and your people. Yes. So if you're happy and you're here, please let me see in the comments. Let me get to know um, where you are reaching out from. I appreciate, I love and appreciate my uh, audience. So I want to know in the comments, in the chat, where you are um, getting this broadcast from. All right, so um, I would quickly reintroduce myself, just like um, uh, uh, Leader Martins have said, um, I'm a coach. Yes, I'm a health and wellness coach. I'm a coach on mindset and skill set. I show struggling network marketers, affiliate marketers, and business people in general uh, skills or strategies that they can use to scale up their businesses, especially for network marketers, because that's where we have leverage, all right? So it's just the little things that matter why you are able to leverage from your team, all right, from the people, yes. So I'm actually a consultant for Miracle Health and Wellness Product in Africa, and I'm so happy to be here to share my knowledge with you. And I believe you are also happy to be here. So if you're happy, let me see in the chat that um, you're happy and you're ready for tonight's session. So it's gonna be a brief session and I'm gonna be sharing um, slides with you to further buttress what I am talking about. So mindset, mindset is what we're gonna be discussing today. And mindset is everything. Mindset is important, all right? Mindset is really, really important. Without the right mindset, there is just nothing that you can achieve in life, all right? There is just nothing you can achieve in life without the right mindset. You're not the only one going through challenge. Everybody has his or her challenge. I've been in the network marketing space. I've been in the health and wellness space for over 18 years, since 2005. When I started, man, it was a struggle. It was, it was difficult. At some point, I would say, no, this business is not just for me. There are people who are meant to be in this business. Do you understand? But it took me time to come to realize, it took me over 10 years before I was lucky enough. And thank God for the internet. Like Cole said, we are blessed. We are blessed to be doing this business at this point in time. Because a lot of people have had their bitter stories. A lot of people have had their experiences. A lot of people have been able to learn, unlearn and relearn. That's why it has become easy because whatever they will be sharing with you are their experiences. And uh, like they'll say, experience is the best teacher. No, all right? It is experience that has been varied, that have been evaluated, all right? Evaluated experience is the best teacher, all right? Because you may go through something and not learn anything. So it's not the best teacher. It is what you learn out of that, that you can go on to teach someone. And that is why I like uh, the network marketing industry because it is a school. A lot of people come into this place thinking it's all business. No. And that's the reason why some people think that it's a scam. 
is a scam because of your mindset. That's why I say mindset is everything. If you understand the way that the industry works, you will appreciate it. And people will appreciate you because it's all about giving, all right? And you cannot give what you don't have, all right? So when you come into the system, what do you do? You humble yourself and you begin to learn. So over the years, over a decade, I was doing all the wrong things you can think of in network marketing. And I was, and I've got my fingers burnt over and over. At some point, I thought it was about the company. At some point, I thought it was the product. At some point, I thought it was the people I was speaking to. At some point, I thought it was the people in my business. It took me a whole lot to realize that it was me. If I was going to succeed in this business, it all depends on me. So I had to change my mindset. I had to go for a mindset change, a, 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 a mindset change, yes. I had to upgrade my mindset and my skill set. So if you must succeed in anything, mindset is very, very important, all right? So I am Coach Oge Passion, and I'll be taking you on this ride. And I hope you're gonna enjoy the session, all right? So I'm gonna be sharing my slide with you, why I betray this point further. Mindset is everything. Let's go. All right, I believe you can hear me loud and clear. Please can hear me loud and clear. Let me hear loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank you. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so what do you see in the screen? On the screen? Mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. Thank you so much. So mindset is actually everything, all right? Your mindset determines your attitude and your attitude determines your altitude. I believe this statement is well explained because how you think is your mindset, right? And it determines what you're gonna do, the way you're gonna look at things and the actions that you're gonna take, all right? So when you, um, when you have a positive mindset, what happens? You have a positive attitude. You're going to be excited, all right? And you're going to carry on a positive attitude, even in amidst challenges. Like there is a challenge. But because you have a positive mindset, what happens? You have a positive attitude towards that. And then what happens? It takes you to a very, very high level. If our people around you are going to be wondering, I mean, Despite this challenge, this person is not even weighed down. You know, some people can do things in order to get you depressed, all right? To make you to feel bad. Some people could actually make you uh, uh, do things in order to make you feel depressed. It, so that it will affect your attitude and also your results or your altitudes. But if you keep a positive mindset to extent, it will make you to have a positive attitude. It's going to make you to be excited. It's going to make you to be passionate. It's going to make you to be consistent. It's going to make you to be patient. Patience is a virtue. I believe you know that. Patience is a virtue. All right? Your attitude to things determines your altitude. Let nobody kid you. Nobody says it's going to be easy. All right? But it's simple if you have the right mindset. And if you have the right attitude, you're gonna to fly to higher altitudes, all right? So, and uh, basically there are two types of mindsets, all right? There are two types of mindsets. We have the poor mindset and then the rich mindset, all right? For the poor mindset, uh, those kind of people, they are fixed. They have a closed mindset. They do not accept things easily. They are doubters, all right? I, they, 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 they are afraid to take risk. They always go to where it is safe, all right? You heard from the video you watched. The, uh, there's a place he said, nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risk. People with poor mindset, people with fixed mindset are not risk takers. 
all right? And the second type of uh, mindset we have is the rich mindset. And the rich mindset is the growth mindset. Remember I told us that your attitude is your, okay, so your, your mindset determines your attitude. And of course your attitude determines your altitude. All right, so if you have a rich mindset, what happens? You have a rich attitude. When you have a rich attitude, you're going to fly high. You're going to grow. That's what this place is just telling us about. All right, so what is the meaning of poor and rich? Look at it. You know, this is an acronym. And when you look at people who are poor or people who are rich, you're going to see this. So what does Paul say? Can someone say it? What is the acronym? All right, what do you understand by poor? What does it really mean to be poor? What does it mean to be poor? Okay, let me quickly read. To be poor means to be passing over opportunities repeatedly. That is what poor means. And a lot of people have this poor mindset and that's the reason why they are where they are. They are not growing because they are always passing over opportunities repeatedly. When opportunities come to them day in, day out, they doubt it. When opportunities come to them day in, day out, they are afraid to take risk. Some will even ask you who has done it. Some will even want to bring down people who are trying to make attempts and ask them who have done it. They will even tell you all the many people who have done it and have failed. That's why I tell you experience is not the best teacher. Evaluated experience is the best teacher. Now, have you gone to evaluate the reasons why those people failed? No. But all they know is that they failed. But maybe those people who failed have gone to, you know, move on with their lives, learned why they failed and moved on. But those kind of people with closed mindset, they, will always, they always have that thing so that whenever you want to challenge them, they'll tell you, this person tried it, it didn't work. That's have a closed mindset and they will never do it. All right. And these are the people we see every day. You see people, you present opportunities with them. Even in this, in this meeting, opportunity is going to be presented to you today. Are you going to pass over it? Are you going to pass over it? And then of course, what's rich? Rich has um, other um, meanings aside what you see here. Rich is actually residual income, consistently heaping. This is my own definition for rich, all right? Residual income, consistently heaping. This means that even when you don't work, the people that you have, you know, the work you have done in the previous months, in the previous years, the activities, the efforts you have made, you have built through a system. What happens? People are excited and are changing their lives. In that process, you are going to be heaping what residual income. You just be sleeping and money is heaping consistently for you. Yes, yeah, some of us know what I'm talking about. When you run a system, when you are working in a system, you should know that you're always gonna be having residual income. As far as there are activities that are happening in that system, there will always be results. There will always be residual income. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? It seems I'm talking to myself. Hello? Yes, we are. Okay, hope uh, we are getting the point. Okay, so let's move. So the next point is, um, uh, the next uh, definition for this is um, residual income creating happiness. When you, are, you have uh, 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 the, the resources, what happens? You'll be excited. But when you are poor, what happens? You'll not be happy, all right? Because um, you are not able to fulfill your needs, your destiny, because you'll be way down. You're going to be way down. And other people too who are tied to you. Yes, leader, leader Martin said it. People are tied to your destiny. I hope you know that. When people are tied to your destiny and you are not meeting up to expectation, what happens? You make those people to suffer. Not because they were destined to suffer, but because you did not do what you were supposed to do in order to help those people's lives to be transformed. All right? So... That is rich for you. Rich also means raking in cash hourly. 
if you run through a system, you can be making money every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, whatever, whatever way you want to make money, you can actually be making better. All right. So here, uh, Robert Kiyosaki has written a lot on finances, all right? And I'm using this uh, cash flow quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki to explain because people fall into various quadrants, all right? So I wouldn't know which of the quadrants you fall in. Are you an employee? Are you self-employed? Are you a business owner? Are you an investor, all right? So I'm going to quickly explain what this means uh, so that we can forge ahead for an employee. It actually means that um, these people are um, job, they are there because of job security, all right? They want a safe job. You know, they, they had this, um, this brought up that you need to go to school, um, uh, get good grades, get a, a, a safe paying job, all right? So that um, you will be, um, you will be able to uh, go through life smoothly, all right? They don't like taking risks. They're afraid of economic uncertainty. They're afraid to take risks, all right? And they want to play it safe. And so they find security in a job. But to be frank, from the things that are happening in our economy today, do you think that there's actually security in a job? I need your responses. You can drop in the chat. From the things that are happening in our economy today, do you think that there's actually security in a job? No. Okay. So you can see it is, this one is practical. There are a lot of people that have lost their job. Remember what happened at the peak of the pandemic? A lot of people lost their jobs, all right? And people started doing what? Remote businesses. Like what we are doing right now is a remote business. We are able to connect through this Zoom. I remember when uh, the pandemic started, that was when a lot of people realized the benefit of using Zoom for meetings. Before now, a lot of companies, a lot of industries, when they want to hold meetings with their staff, what will they do? They will start traveling from place to place. They spend a whole lot on trying to see that they are able to hold that meeting. But during the pandemic, they were able to hold meetings and they spent very, very minimal. You understand? A lot of people, a lot of uh, uh, people have come to realize that they didn't need a, a shop. They didn't need an office, a physical office for them to run. They could actually be running an online office. They could actually be running an online business. They could actually be running an online shop, all right? They didn't need all of that, and they were doing well, and were able to reach out to their family. Some of these people, they didn't even know their family. It was during that pandemic that their children got to know, oh, this is daddy. Can you imagine? Because daddy is going to leave home as early as six before the children have woken up, and as late as uh, nine, 10 when the children have slept. Then some people are not working in their location, the, the, the place their families are living. So some of these children barely know their parents. Can you imagine? So the, some women call their parents uncle. That's how bad it is. So to be an employee is really not easy. They say they are doing that because of job security. But actually, I don't think that there is security in a job. If it was before, maybe. But for now, aha, there is really no security in a job. All right, then we move to self a lot of people fall into this category. They tell you they want to be independent. They want to be their own boss. Yes, it's good. In fact, we have experts who expect to be paid well if they deliver well. So these people are professionals. They know what they are doing. They are the best in what they are doing. All right? And of course, um, what is the downside of this? The downside of this is that when they are not there, maybe there, there's an emergency, there's an urgency, and they have to travel out of that place. It becomes a problem because their customers won't buy it from them because they are not available. Once their shop is closed, they can't make a sale. All right. Example of these people are people who maybe do supermarket, hairdressing, you know, um, handwork, carpentry, even some experts that we know, like professionals, like uh, barristers and all that. They need to be at their place of work to carry out those things. So if they are not there, that means nobody would patronize them, all right? So that's the downside. And then, of course, the people on the left-hand side of the quadrant are interested in what? Their security, all right? So the employee, the job, the self-employed own a job. And then um, we move to business. 
which is what we are into, business owners, what do we leverage on? We leverage on systems. In fact, we own a system, all right? We own the system and people work with us. People work with us. And that's why we are so excited to share our opportunities with people. When we share our opportunities with people, we help them see, because a lot of people who come into this place, the, uh, especially the network marketing industry, the network marketing industry is, um, is a, an, a good example of business, all right? Big businesses, that's what we are talking about. Not self-employed business, no. Big businesses that a lot of people can come in and be paid over and over, you understand? So we don't have issues with, uh, they've not paid salary. It's as, according to how you work and how you teach other people in your system to also work. The more people come in, the more money to be made here. So it's exciting. It's really exciting to be here. And of course, you are here to learn how to earn. In this side, whether you know it or you don't know it, when you come, you have excited people who are so passionate to teach you, just like we are here. We are excited to teach you so that you can learn it. And the good thing is that once you begin to apply it, even if it is the minute you start learning, the minute you get to know about it, that you begin to apply, you begin to see the results. So it's as fast as that. It's according to how open. You know, I talked about the poor and the rich mindset, all right? So if you have a rich mindset, you have an open mindset and a willingness to learn and then apply. And that's your success in this area. And then the last one is the investor. You own investment. investment. Here, money works for you. Now, uh, you can be able to move uh, from any of these quadrants to invest, invest become an investor. And that's um, uh, very possible if you are working on the B side of the quadrant, the right-hand side of the quadrant, all right? Because these people working on the right-hand side of the uh, quadrant, they have freedom. They have time freedom. They have financial freedom. It is when you have a, 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 a been able to accumulate wealth. It is when you have freedom to accumulate wealth. It is when you have the time to accumulate wealth, excitedly, that you can go on to do or to invest. So while you are sleeping, what happens? Your money is working for you. And it, this investment, if you have been working in the B quadrant, that is where um, I and many others who are in our system are working and we are being paid for. We don't have to go for uh, uh, to, uh, to have a job. We don't have to own a job. We just leverage on the system. And through people's uh, efforts, we are able to grow because here you are able to benefit from OPM and OPT. What does that mean? Other people's money and other people's time. I believe you're with me. We're going to round up in the next five to six minutes. All right. I'm already rounding up. All right. So here in the business, you, you are able to leverage from other people's money and other people's time. How do you leverage from other people's money? You are able to leverage from other people's money because when you come into our business, registration is actually free. So it is free. You have a free link to sign up and then you begin to learn. So um, when you learn, you can go on to share what you have learned. In that process, someone says, oh, I want to be part of this. I want to get this product. I want to be able to benefit from what this product can help with. And then the person is able to pay. That is that person's money you are going to use to come purchase whatever the person needs from the system. And then that is other people's money you are using. And then other people's time. You are able to use, leverage on other people's time in order to do what? To make money, to grow through the system. By the time you don't know what to do in the system, you come in here, we welcome you. You learn from professionals. You learn from people who have been through the system. You learn from people who are cashing out daily from the system. All you need to do is to invite your people and then they come and listen. They come and watch people who have been able to change their lives through the system. And you using that, that is other people's time. All right, you leverage on the people ahead of you and you leverage on the people who are coming in to know about it. And once they see that it's an amazing opportunity with great benefits, they decide to give it a try. I believe you understand what I am saying. So that is OPT and OPM. And so as you grow, it comes to a point that 
your money works for you even while you're sleeping and that becomes an investment all right so that is it an investment is in different forms investment can be in form of money investment can be in form of your effort or your energy investment can be in form of your time all right and that's the met strategy that will be a strategy for another class all right so you invest your money you invest your energy or your effort, just like you are here, you are listening, you are learning, and then you invest your time. And before you know what's happening, in a few weeks, in a few months, as you are applying those things, your life begins to do what? Transform. So that is it about that. So like I said, that there are different quadrants, and there are different people in this quadrant, and there are different mindsets. When you come in here, you have to change your mindset. If you don't change your mindset, it will be difficult for you to leverage from whatever quadrant you find yourself. And to move from one quadrant to another requires a complete word, change of mindset. So you change your quadrant, you change your mindset, that is your thinking. You change your attitude and you change your life. And because in the B quadrant, where we have people with financial freedom and people with time freedom, what happens? They are transforming their lives and those around them. So um, as questions I'd like you to ponder on before we call this a close is who are you? You need to ask yourself that question if you really want to change. Who am I? Who am I? What are my financial goals? You need to know your goals because the video said you should do what, not just dream, but you should also have goal. If you have goal, the next thing in your mind is, how can I achieve this goal? Your goal is your why. Why is it that you want to um, uh, uh, get be financially free or you want to be time free? I told you the right-hand side of the quadrant is where you have the business people and those who are investing, either their time, either their effort, their, their energy or their money. Yes, so what are you? your financial goals? What is that big why? What is that challenge that we always make you to say, oh, I need to stand up from this comfort zone and begin to think of a way forward? And then the last question is, am I ready to choose to be rich? You have the decision to make, either to choose to be rich or to choose to remain where you are because you have two types of mindset. So when you know where you belong, you know the quadrant where you belong, and then you begin to think way forward. That is the only time that you can make progress. But if you don't know who you are, if you don't know your financial goals, if you don't even have a goal, if you are not ready to make a choice, a decision, then it becomes difficult. And when opportunities are presented to you like this, it becomes a problem for you to actually make a decision whether to go by it or not. So at this point, I think, I am done with this session and I believe that you got value. And um, I would want to tell you that um, the decision you make today is either going to make you or my you. So think rightly, what are you going to do? You are in a group of many people. You made the decision to be part of this this evening, all right? Yes, a lot, it's just a few people. Yes, thank you. Just a few people are get, going to get to the top. That is the truth. So you are part of this. Make that decision today to be part of the world revolution. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much, uh, Leader Oge. Uh, actually, I uh, will be taking some questions before. But uh, please, for those who are joining us, please, this is the unusual training. See, wealth and mindset go hand in hand. If you have not changed your mindset, it will be difficult for you to start wealth creation. Is that clear? We will be keeping this training today short like this. The next one is, by God's grace, I'll be taking you through a system that have transformed my life. I will be sharing with you in that next training, not today, because of time. Next training, that is on Sunday, by God's grace, by 5 p.m. I'll be sharing this same link. Please, I will be sharing with you how a business that changed my life, a business I started with 24,000 Naira, change my life but please note i am just doing this because i want to change and help people if you have started with us the video you see that see there's something that happened to you when people move when people succeed you smile and when that's you smile you feel ease because you are grooming people what i'm trying to do in this is to be able to build team 
mentor you so that you can be able to follow the exact, have the same blueprint I have used to grow this business and become an empire. I know you too, you can have that same empire. I also ask you this question, what do you think if your finances limp from what you used to have? It limp from 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 monthly. What do you think the life of your children will look like? That your family that has issues between you and your wife, I believe it goes a long way to solve it. That is that for sure. Now, in part also part of this mentorship program that I promised you people is that I'm going to also share with you a free lead generation app where you can also start using to grow your business, but there are some attachment to it. Is that clear? As I share with you, those people who are going to say yes to this big opportunity will be taking that. We'll be using that to be able to grow their business with me because that is one of the things I have used to grow my business. But this, I will keep it short here. See you next class by God's grace on Sunday, 5 p.m. You see, we have a lot of people. We have almost about 40 something on that group. Out of 47, six or five of us decided to be part of this. Let me tell you, if you can take one step, follow every instruction that I'm going to teach you, that Oge Passion is going to teach you. See, let me tell you, it's not boasting. Go and mark it anywhere. And I keep telling people, either on, online or physical line or offline meeting, I tell them, go and mark any day. I come and contact in contact with you. I share with you this same principle. If you don't change, it means that something is wrong somewhere. So I keep it short. See you on, uh, on Sunday by God's grace. It's just about choice. If you decide to join, God bless you. If you decide not to join, God bless you. But the truth about I'm preaching and changing and trying to change people's life for good. So please, I'll be open up this uh, question. If you have a question, you can ask a question. And also this uh, link will be also made available in the group for those who have missed it so that they can be able to follow all through and uh, we progress. Thank you very much. So please, if you have a question, please, probably you can just raise your hand. Uh, if, you, if there's no question, we can call it a day. And uh, with so much joy, I thank God for Lida Oge Passion sharing this uh, wonderful training with us. But it's going to be an amazing one because I'll be sharing my own personal life story. Like I keep telling people, no man shares his story better. You cannot share the story of a man better than himself. I can share my story, how my life has changed. Today, I drive a GIK worth 7 million. I bought about two years ago. The value of that car is about 14 million today from the business of 24,000 Naira. Then, how I build a house of 12 million, I'll be sharing with you. And how my life has changed, I'll be sharing with you. That is that. So please, if there's no other question, we can call it a day. But if you decide to join this journey with me, be part of this journey, I tell you, the next time we are going to meet one-on-one, -on -one, you are going to pray for me. You are going to thank me because I've done it for a lot of people who have never even known. But today, they are my friends. They are my brothers. And every day I know as they wake up from sleep, they pray for me. I believe you can do that for me also. So please, can we entertain questions uh, before we call it a day? Thank you, Shola. God bless you for being part of this. Favor Sarah, thank you. Uh, my brother, I cannot be able to mention your surname anyway, but I, I can mention Gabriel. Gabriel, thank you very much for uh, joining the uh, Zoom meeting and also have Emmanuel. Emmanuel was one of the first person who joined the link, the, the meeting. Do we have questions? Hello? Hey, there's no question in the chat. Okay, so I guess we, I have five people or four persons who are ready to join with me. Is that okay? Yeah. Hello, I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want a response from us. At least you, are, you, have, uh, yes. you have paid the price to be here. See, it's not easy to be here. At least you have decided to be here. So I want to believe that uh, Emmanuel, you are up for the project. Uh, Favor Sarah, you are up for the project. Mr. Shola, you are up for the project. And, uh, again so please i'll uh, see you on sunday the passion thank you for your time god bless you thank i you, really sir. appreciate you from the depth of my heart may god richly bless you and put a smile thank in your you face sir.
Okay. Amen. Bye. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> See you on Sunday because it's going to be awesome, powerful, okay. educative, and transformative. Bye for now. I yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah.